welcome back to another video tutorial on how to develop your own custom zombies map. Now in this video I'm going to show you guys how to add models aka X models into your map. When I say models I mean like chairs, tables, you know, um, picture frames, you know, all, all different types of furniture you could, or um, objects that you could add to the map. Now when I do this I use a specific tool called um, Tom's X model utility. So we're going to double click on this. Now I'm going to open it up. This is the program right here. Click on that. And here it is. Now this is a great tool to add models into your game so you can view them and uh, basically add them to your map with ease. You, know, you can scroll down and look at all the models from the game. Cars, chairs, let's see. You can actually search for it by a description. So I'm going to be going over the static models. So it'll show me all the static ones. Iron gun, old plane, piece of a plane you can add to your map, plane parts, bathtub, beds, books, you know, all the models that are basically in the game, it's a lot easier for you to view them with this program. And it looks pretty cool. Let's say if you import any models from Black Ops or Modern Warfare or Ghost or anything like that, you'll be able to view them with this program. And let's say if I find the model that I want to add, let's say I wanted to add this. So this is the name of it right here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to copy name. Click on that. I'm going to open up Radiant. You know, it, it works a lot better than the, I guess, asset viewer that would uh, that came with the Call of Duty mod tools. This is like light years ahead of it. And plus, uh, if you like the program, support this guy, Tom Crawley, Tom BMX. Uh, it's, he has a website called TomCrawley.com, and uh, it's, he has a great he has a bunch of great tools, like Lime, Lemon. You know, he's the one that came out with uh, the Music Box. You know, it's he has a bunch of great programs. If anything, I'll leave a link down in the description. But we're gonna add this model right now into our game. You know, this little control panel. You know, we got Radiant open. I'm going to open up one of my maps. I'm going to open up The Walking Dead. And here we go. All right, cool. So uh, let's, let's find a spot. Let's, well, I'm not going to leave it in the game. So uh, let me get rid of these risers. I'll probably do risers for the next video. Now, right click, go to MISC, go to Model. And we're going to navigate to where our models are. Now, you want to go into your root folder of the World at War. I'm going to go into Raw and scroll down to X Model. And these are all the models in the game. Now, as you can see, just like the, the program, you can see the picture. But majority of these don't really have a picture. And uh, it's... The cool thing about that program is that you can rotate around it and actually get a good look and search for it by name. Now the reason I opened up this program and I right clicked is so I could copy the name and I wouldn't have to search for it in here, you know, because it takes forever scrolling through all of these. So what I do is click on file name, click paste, hit open, and there it is. Easiest way to add a, add a model to your game. So let's put that down on the floor. There we go. And 
I'm going to compile this map and see how it looks in the game. So I'm going to hit save. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. All right. I just finished compiling the map. Now let's check out the model in game. And there we have it. There's the model I just imported. Imagine that. Now it's a static a model, so you can't walk through it. Other models that aren't static, majority of the time you have to add a player clip, so you can't walk through it. But uh, it's, since it's a static, I don't have any issues. And there it is. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Don't fuck with a marine. All right. Uh, got some zombie action going on here. But there it is. Looks cool. Now this is part one of the X model utility. I am going to come out with a part two and part three. Getting into full detail on using that program and all the great features it has. But uh, as far as adding X models, it's the easiest way to do it. And you can really get a good look at uh, what there is to add. So uh, if you guys favorite this video, Hit that like button and subscribe for uh, more future content to come. Be safe, guys.